Warm greetings to all. So let me introduce myself. I am Sarayu Jayadevan, Assistant Professor of Chemistry, Sir Saidu College, Taliparamba, Kannur. The topic I am going to discuss is HSAB principle and its applications from the uh, module Acids, Bases and non aqueous Solvents. Before we start our discussions on HSAB principle, we should know what is actually meant by Lewis Acids and Bases. Lewis acids are substances which can accept an electron pair, whereas Lewis bases are substances which can donate an electron pair. According to HSAB theory, both Lewis acids and bases can be classified as hard and soft. There is another category of borderline acids and bases which have intermediate properties of hardness and softness. Now let's compare the characteristics of hard acids and soft acids. Hard acids have smaller ionic radii, they have high positive charge, they are strongly solvated and they have empty orbitals in the valence shell. In the valence shell. In contrast to the above properties, soft acids have larger ionic radii, they have low positive charge and they have completely filled orbitals in the valence shell. Now the differences between hard bases and soft bases are hard bases have small ionic radii, they are strongly solvated, they are highly electronegative and they are weakly polarizable. Whereas soft bases have larger ionic radii, they are weakly solvated, they have intermediate electronegativity and are highly polarizable. The borderline Lewis adjacent bases have intermediate properties as I told earlier. Now HSAB principle. According to HSAB principle, hard acids prefer binding to hard bases to give ionic complexes whereas soft acids prefer binding to soft bases to give covalent complexes. Now bonding in HSAB combinations is explained as follows. The electronegativity difference between hard acid and hard base is higher, which leads, to, which leads to strong ionic interactions. The electronegativity of soft base and soft acid are almost the same, so there is less, lesser chance for ionic interactions and therefore the interactions are more covalent. Now, if we consider the other combinations that is hard acid soft base or soft acid hard base interactions, it will be mostly polar covalent in nature. Such compounds will be more reactive and therefore less stable. Here the details are given in a table format. Let's have a look at the examples. For hard acids, the examples are the most common examples are H plus, K plus, Ni plus, beryllium 2 plus, etc. and some neutral molecules like BF3, BCL3, etc. For soft acids, it is Cu+, Au+, Sg2+, Cadmium2+, etc. and all metal atoms in their zero oxidation states. The borderline acids will be Fe2+, Co2+, Ni2+, etc. And when we come to the hard bases category, the most common hard bases are OH minus, OR minus, F minus, CL minus, etc. and some neutral molecules like water, ammonia, amines, etc. And for soft bases, they are the examples are CN minus, SCN minus, RS minus, and some neutral molecules like thiols, carbon monoxide, ethylene, etc. Borderline bases will be aniline, pyridine, BR minus, NO2 minus, etc. Just try to memorize at least two from each category. Now let's move on to the applications of HSAB principle. The first one is the hydrogen bonding. Molecules like water, ammonia and HF show strong hydrogen bonding. All of them are hard bases, so they attract H plus of the neighboring molecule, which is a hard acid. The second one is precipitation reactions. The softer acids like Ag+, Hg+, etc. can be precipitated as sulfides from their aqueous solutions since sulfide ion is a softer base. 
stability of complexes. Let us compare the stabilities of AgI2 minus and AgF2 minus. AgI2 minus is more stable because Ag plus is a soft acid and I minus is a soft base. The next application is the complexes with ambident ligands. Consider the ambident ligand thiocyanate ion. And ambident ligands are the ligands which may bind using any one of the donor atoms. Okay, here we are considering thiocyanate ion and the donor atoms are sulfur or nitrogen in which sulfur is soft and nitrogen is hard. Now let us consider its binding with palladium 2 plus. Since PD2 plus is soft acid, the thiocyanate ion binds to PD2 plus by using the softer sulfur at to give the complex to give it the stable complex called PD SCN4 times 2 minus. And if we combine the same ion, the, the same ligand with cobalt 2 plus, which is a hard acid, the binding will be, the linkage will be through nitrogen atom. And it's another application is to predict the feasibility of a reaction. When lithium iodide and cesium fluoride are mixed, lithium fluoride and cesium iodide are obtained immediately because lithium, in lithium fluoride there is hard hard interaction and in cesium iodide there is soft soft interaction which is more stable than lithium iodide and cesium fluoride. And it's another application is to predict the stability of complexes. Complexes are more stable if all the ligands attached to the central metal atom have the same nature. That is cobalt CN5 times I3 minus and CO NS3 5 times F2 plus are stable because both CN minus and I minus are soft bases in the first example and both ammonia and F minus are soft sorry hard bases in the second example. So these two complexes are stable but if we exchange the ligands if, if we change the ligands that is CO CN5 times F3 minus and CO NH3 5 times I2 plus because the cyanide is soft and fluorine fluoride is hard and ammonia is hard and iodide is soft. So these combinations when they come in combination the complexes are unstable. And the last application is the prediction of the reactions, uh, the feasibility of reaction and uh, the equilibrium of the reaction towards left or right. We can predict by applying this HSAB principle. For example, for a given base B, it may be classified as hard or soft based on the equilibrium. The equilibrium is given, the equations is given and the point is if B is hard, if B is hard then equilibrium will shift more towards the left because H plus is a hard acid so uh, the equilibrium will be towards the left side and if B is soft, if B is, is a softer base the equilibrium would have shifted towards right that is it would have given CH3 HgB plus because Hg plus is a softer acid. And one more term that is symbiosis. As we all know symbiosis means coexistence. Okay, so here soft ligands are soft ligands have a tendency to combine with the center which is already associated with the soft ligand and hard ligands have a tendency to combine with center which is already associated with hard ligands. For example, BF3 plus F minus will immediately give you BF4 minus and like the same BH3 plus H minus will give you BH4 minus. If we combine, if we mix BH3 F minus and BF3 H minus, they will rearrange in a form that is BH4 minus and BF4 minus are obtained, which are more stable. So, in the entire presentation, I have discussed HSAB principle and applications. For further queries, you may contact me in the following address. Thank you.